हेलो वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ एंड माई सेल्फ विक्रांत वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट फाउ लाइक वॉट इज सी एस एस एंड वॉट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ सी एस एस एंड ऑल द स्टप थेरी ऑफ अबाउट सी एस एस ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वॉट वी आर गोन डू वी आर गोन सी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट सी एस एस इन अवर विथ अवर एस टी एम एल पेजेस एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी आर ऑल्सो गोन सी द डिफरेंट वेज टू इम्प्लीमेंट सी एस एस वॉट आर दिस डिफरेंट वेज सो देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट वेज टू इम्प्लीमेंट सी एस एस विथ अवर एस टी एम एल पेज सो फर्स्ट वन इज इनलाइन सी एस एस सेकेंड वन इज इंटरनल एंड लास्ट वन इज एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस थ्री टाइप्स एंड हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट डेम एक्चुअली इन अवर वेब पेज सो वी आर गोन सी ऑल दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ अवर वी एस कोड एडिटर एंड क्रोम ब्राउजर सो लेट इज डायरेक्टली जम्प ऑन टू द वी एस कोड एंड क्रोम ब्राउजर विदाउट अ फर्दर डिले सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव ओपन माई इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल पेज इन लाइक वी एस कोड एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट आई हैव ओपन ओपन दिस सी एस एस फाइल सो या ओके सो आई विल ओपन दिस इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल पेज ऑन माई ब्राउजर एज वेल जस्ट टू सी वॉट इट इज गिविंग मी इन आउटपुट सो करेंटली इट इज लाइक शोइंग द ब्लैंक ओके सो वॉट वी आर गोना डू वी आर गोना सी फर्स्ट द इन लाइन सी एस एस इन लाइन ओके लेट से इन लाइन सी एस एस सो हाउ टू वॉट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज इन लाइन सी एस एस सो इन लाइन सी एस एस इज द सी एच एस सी एस एस विच इज विच इज रिटर्न इन साइड द एस टी एम एल टैग सो वॉट एवर सी एस एस यू माई आर एवल टू सी इन द एस टी एम एल टैग सो दैट इज ऑल गोना रेफर टू द इन लाइन सी एस एस सो हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट सो बिफोर that let me just comment out this inline css so for commenting out i am just selecting the text like whichever you want to comment and just uh, play press this control plus backslash okay so now how to implement it so i'm just like creating one h1 tag and inside tag i am writing hello world okay sorry hello world and i am just saving it okay so as you can see we are able to get the hello world here on our h1 tag and after that what i am going to do i am going to give the style inside html tag so how to do that so for that we need to write a style equal to and in double inverted comma we need to pass on the characteristics that or attributes you can say which you want to apply to this tag so let's say i want uh, its border to be 1 pixel solid and red let's say so i'm just saving it oh sorry my bad so we just need to save it and you can see the border property is getting applied to my h1 tag but you might be confused that why this h1 tag is occurring that much space this much space so the reason is very simple that h1 tag is a block level element so you might have understand that what is the difference between block level and normal html tag okay so block level is actually cap capturing whole width so i will show you with another uh, property let's say text line we are getting and i am like creating text line center okay so the text is getting aligned to the center of our web page so this is a simple property we will like we will learn later about this like whatever the properties we are getting today to learn so we will like try to optimize more of these and try to try different css properties in our upcoming lectures so for as of now i am just telling you the overview of inline internal and external css so this is simply the inline css okay so what is this internal css guys so internal css just to tell you in very short internal css is written inside this head tag okay and inside the head in head tag if we are writing this style tag and inside style tag let's say i'm writing h1 after h1 i need to like open and close this curly braces and inside that i need to pass the properties in key value pairs format so how to do that so let's say i'm writing border here as well okay and one pixel let's say i'm saying solid red solid, solid black this time because red is always already present here so right now you can see the text is also not getting aligned to the center as we have removed that property and for h1 tag 
it is getting the black border okay so our property is getting applied to our h1 tag but you might ask you might you might have a question like what is the difference between inline and internal css the only difference that i can tell is see let's say i have this another h1 tag and it is saying i am dev town student okay so you can see my i am dev town student tag this second h1 tag is also getting the border of one pixel solid red but how to avoid this let's say i i want my hello world to have the border of red color so in that case our selectors comes into picture but yeah and with the help of inline css also we can do that if we are passing separate style to our uh, h1 tag on first line and our different style to h1 like, like the second h1 tag so also it is getting applied the like uh, different properties as well so how to do that in internal css so for that we have selectors so there are two types of selector so just to tell you in short there are two types of selectors so which are class and id selectors okay so what is these uh, class and id selectors okay so i will tell you in short how to apply all these tags all these selectors and all that so let's say i am giving my id name to let's say the second tag so let's say my id name is second and if i want to uh, like apply properties to this particular tag on line number 24 then i can just write hashtag second and why am i why am i using hashtag because i have used id there on line number 20 as you can see if i have used class here like like class equal to second then instead of hashtag i might have used dot because for capturing id we need hashtag and for capturing classes we need dot so let's say i am giving border same and let's say this time we are passing this uh, red color okay and i am just saving it so as you can see my second h1 tag is getting the red color border right so this is the basic difference between inline and internal css so now what we have to do like let's say what is like external css so external css is a bit simple okay so i am just copying this style code from here and i am just cutting it from here i am just cutting all style tag so external css is like external css is definitely let's say i am creating another folder dot css and i am just copy pasting that code from style tag and let's say that now you can see my css files files are not present here i haven't write any properties here so how to link this index.css file to html page so for that we have link tag okay okay in in link tag in link tag there are two attributes first one is relevance okay so relevance is style sheet style sheet means the css files and in href as you can see i can pass on the location of that particular index.css file so dot css files are also known as style sheets okay so i am saving it and now you can see they are getting the borders black and red so this is the all three types all three ways in which you can implement css to our html pages so i hope you guys have got gotten the idea so let me share you one more important like topic one of uh, uh, regarding this only so let's say i have applied my properties in inline internal external as well so in that case how this properties are getting applied to our tags so there is one proper preference so first preference will goes to inline css the next preference will go to in external and the last preference is for external css okay so right now okay so i need to comment this out so that it is not coming off on the web page so yes so this is the preference that is set so in the upcoming lecture we are going to see like how this preference works what is specificity in css so all that so don't worry about this and yes i will see you in next lecture i hope you guys understand the today's topic thank you so much for watching bye